So yesterday, uh, we found some, what I think are bluets in Vancouver area, and I decided to bring one back and to do a spore print, and wow. Okay, so we've got like a blush colored spore print you can see on there. So yes, I'm pretty confident these are bluets. Um, which is really cool because I've only found them in Washington since we've moved out here and now I can see that uh, yeah they're you know where they grow even locally here now so that's pretty cool so now I will go back out there and show you guys the uh, patch that uh, we found Hey everyone, sorry for the uh, noise in the background, but uh, I'm really excited to uh, share with you a uh, mushroom that um, is called a bluet, or the common name is wood bluet, and uh, this is the first time that I've actually found this mushroom in British Columbia, and so it's very exciting for me to find this uh, here, especially uh, being in the Lower Mainland. Um, I have found them in Washington, and when I lived in Ontario, I used to find them quite often, so uh, let me show you some of these mushrooms. So they're just growing under a hedgerow here, and there's quite a few of them actually along this stretch here. Um, and they don't quite look exactly like the ones I used to find in Ontario, but they still do have a lot of the same characteristics. Uh, the ones in Ontario used to have a more kind of uh, meteor cap, um, and they got quite large in Ontario. But yeah, these ones do share the same color characteristics, and uh, it's important to do a spore print with these mushrooms, which is what I did uh, last night to confirm what they are. And uh, they have a kind of a buff colored uh, spore print on them. But yeah, you'll see how they're kind of a purplish color. Uh, hopefully this camera will pick up that color. It's kind of a, you know, a light purple color. The caps can sometimes be kind of a, here, this might show you, kind of a lighter color uh, with uh, the rim kind of being purple. So they take on different colorations, but here's a nice purple one. Yeah, that's beautiful. So the variety, in order, when you do a spore print, you want to prove that they're not a Cortinarius species. Cortinarius will have uh, brown, brown spores so you want to prove that they're not uh, cortinarius because there's a lot of cortinarius are inedible or even toxic oh, there are quite a few back here too look at all that wow that is amazing 